make me hardcore. You How you guys doing? A little bit. Who here likes clapping? Oh. Hey, knock that off. Like, honestly, like, most of this set is just going to be me bitching. Sadness. That's going to be bad. Seriously, I hate people that on their phones, instead of a digital watch, they have an analog one. It's a waste of time. HTC does not make Rolexes. You're not that fancy. It takes too long to look at. Hey, digital watch guy, what time is it? Boom, it's 11. Hey, analog watch guy, what time is it? Ah. Oh. Fuck. Morning? I don't know. I hate so much. I hate college athletes. That's the end of that comment. Seriously, this is all gonna be bitching. At the end of this, Mike Long's gonna be like, let's hug it out, bitch. Like, he was the angry one. He is the one why you probably can't hear me now because it's still ringing, at least the front row. Oh my god. I hate dating, you know? I hate dating. I hate, just, I hate when I'm dating people because I'm just bored now, so like my only reason to date people is if like they haven't seen my favorite show so I can re-watch it. You do that? My ideal date is like me, her, some M&Ms in the middle, and like me telling all the funny parts to the show before <laughs> they succumb. That's literally how it is. This is this is me going like this is me talking to a girl trying to pick her up. Oh, so you're uh, you're a criminal justice major. Let me stop that reenactment real quick. I'm not making fun of criminal justice majors. I'm just saying that my game's that bad that even six years out of college, my best lines from Goodwill Hunting. What's your major? <laughs> it, oh no, it's fascinating. So have you seen Buffy? <laughs> no. Oh, hey, gorgeous. Would you like to date for two to two and a half months? <laughs> I think we can get through all seven seasons. <laughs> or at least the musical. <laughs> you see that Buffy had a musical, it was really popular. I mean, you guys know, you've seen Buffy, right? Have you seen Lost? Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> no, like, I don't know. I have, um... My dream girl, to real in all honesty, is just anti-Semitic. <laughs> that was the joke, the rest of these are facts. Now my dream girl is the man in the iron mask, colon female edition. I had to have that colon in there. I mean, think about it, like, she'd be like crazy rich, you know, like, you know, king of France rich, but not, but not like, but not like be high maintenance, you know, like, Oh, I own a country, but like, yeah, you just, your place doesn't have guards or scabies. Let's do this shit. <laughs> Plus, she wouldn't know she was pretty. And she'd have a twin that looked like Leo. <laughs> I'm not sure if that joke is sexist or gay. <laughs> it's sexist, because my gay jokes have way more cursing. <laughs> I'm trying to act like an asshole, so like that the Breaking Bad guy will like get me in on a show. Like, that's all it is right now, guys. Where's he at? Gone. Oh, I should have done the nice jokes. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I'm trying. I'm not trying to be like mean or like sexist. Like I love. I think women are amazing. You outstanding women. You outstanding. And it's be, it's because and it's not like it's, it's like a self-esteem thing. It's because you're so you're so gosh darn tough. You're tougher than guys. It's true. And it's not it's not the pregnancy thing. You know, like I could do that. <laughs> I'm not that kind of toughness. You know what? You know what I would do if I was pregnant? I'd use man logic and have that baby at seven months. <laughs> it's gonna slip right out. <laughs> that baby's not big at all. As long as it still has eyes, we're good to go. Small things are cute. <laughs> Fuck a baby, I got a beanie baby. Drew Wynn likes preemie jokes. <laughs> big laughs, big head, a regular heartbeat. <laughs> No, why I think you guys are so tough is because like, like self-esteem is like, I couldn't, you guys have so many th people telling you like, you gotta like change your body and change the way you look and look pretty and that's all bullshit. And like, you gotta have like a beach bod and I don't like that. That's stupid. It's a waste of time. It makes you feel, I couldn't handle that pressure. You know, you have things that tell you like, oh, you gotta get this diet so you can fit in your black dress. Like guys don't have that. You're like, oh, you gotta have this diet so you can get in your butt up in cargoes. Like, just cover it up. Just cover it up. But it happens everywhere, right? Like, it's on your magazines. You know, like, everywhere in your magazines, you gotta tuck some sort of, like, tummy or tuchus, or I don't, you know. 
But it's not, they don't put that shit on our magazines, you know? Like, they don't say, hey, oh, you know, lose weight. And I'm like, this is Game Informer. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose weight. Exercising sucks. And I can have Nightwing on the extra maps of Batman. <laughs> Fuck lunges. <laughs> but you guys see it, you guys see it everywhere. And the worst place I ever saw was on this little show called Dinner and Movie. Have you guys heard of it? Dinner and Movie. Is you haven't seen this hellish show. They mix this MTV DJ with this girl that like looks good in a dress but bad in an acting role. I don't know if you've seen it. And then they get this girl to talk after like a vulnerable movie like Titanic. I think the movie's vulnerable. Leo dies. <laughs> but it, it like, you know, gets you going and then they're like, their lines are literally like, and I saw one where they didn't even teach you how to make anything. They just told you how to go on a diet. They were all like, no bread, no fruit, no sugar, no fake sugar, small portions, no shit small portions. That shit tastes like eyelashes. <laughs> That's my last joke, guys. I'm Drew Wayne, and I'm number nine now. <laughs> <laughs>